Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dark News. How you doing? My name is Live Provide Media TV, and I am very out of it, as you can probably tell. Let me put the fucking ring light on so y'all can see my fugly ass face. Here we are. Um, Borderlands is going. Borderlands Four is going to be going on Steam because, of course, it is. Let's let, let's let's be so for real right now. Um, the only reason why Borderlands Three was so willing to, you know, go with the Epic Game Store was because of the benefits offered to publishers. The financial benefits of a, I think it was, like, just a 12% cut going to Epic versus the uh, 30% that Steam took. Unfortunately, uh, despite uh, Tim Sweeney, leader of Epic, fucking pumping all of that time into that Epic Game Store. Uh, it didn't really amount to much. The Epic Game Store is still, still kind of cheeks, and uh, no bueno. My buddy Brian, who's also co-host of The Rundown, uh, every comes out, uh, releases every Monday. Um, one of the things that I want to, to reiterate is that he, Brian only keeps it around for the free games. He opens it once a week to pick up his free game, and that's it. That's it. And, you know, the, the, the money, the upfront money that people get with the Epic Games Store is fine and dandy and all, but it, it was shit. And so we are five years removed from, you know, five, six years removed from the Epic Games Store Trying so desperately to get Steam to get to to like take Steam down and become the new Steam, and it didn't. It just didn't happen. That's GG. And so Borderlands Four is going to be releasing on Steam day one, as opposed to on the Epic Game Store. And I think the, what probably did it was the day one purchases of Borderlands Three was less than you know, less per capita uh, compared to the. Uh, you know, day one releases of Borderlands 2. And I would even argue that um, the year after Steam... Here's the thing. I bought Borderlands 3 on the Epic Games Store. I bought it again on Steam when it released on Steam, so I didn't have to play it on the Epic Games Store. I want, like, and, and I'm willing to bet that there were many people, like, when they released it on Steam, they saw a huge uptick in their purchases as a result of that. Whether or not they timed it with the super badass edition of the game, fundamentally, at the end of the day, um, Steam is where people play all their games. Everything else is a new is a nuisance. If you if you if you aren't on Steam, you are missing out on the general market. You, the people who will were going to play that game anyways, like yours truly, will follow you wherever you go. But you're not going to get the you know the normies. Borderlands 2 was a huge game, even for people who weren't Borderlands fans. I played Borderlands 1, I played Borderlands 2, I played Borderlands the pre-sequel. Borderlands the pre-sequel is probably uh, the best all-around Borderlands game in terms of in terms of in terms of writing, gameplay, guns, and and, and feel. I will f debate anyone on that, by the way. Um, Y'all feelings are just wrong about it. And ultimately, Borderlands 3. Um, you know, was more, was purchased, probably purchased more through their internal revenues um, once it released on Steam. So, uh, yeah, obviously, this is a anti Epic Games sort of channel. Get your free games, do what you gotta do. But, you know, all, for all of the talk that the Epic Games Store did, does about, you know, wanting to have a free open market and better competition, the fact of the matter is, is that Valve. And, and Steam have gotten to where they are with the marketplace based off of delivering good products to the end users. I, the, you know, the entire aspect of the Steam Deck and the fact that the Photon Wrapper makes it so almost, like, all most people have to do to enable their game on Linux is literally just uh, hit a button. Ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, I think it's very funny that Randy Pitchford um, 
said like said that Steam was gonna like gonna die or whatever. And Granny Pitch Pitchford is again a silly person, so this is not surprising. But on that note, I'm gonna let y'all go to pre-recorded that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmediagg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmediagg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.